YouTube, what's up? Today is Friday. As you're about to see, it's a kind of crappy outside. The weather is not good. Roads don't look too good. It's probably going to clear up in a couple hours, but either way, I think it's going to be a slow day. So because of that, I'm contemplating being closed today. Let's go see how it looks outside. As you can see, it definitely snowed last night. My landlord is the nicest guy ever. So usually when he comes here in the morning and shovels his apartment complex, which is about, let's say, 15 feet from my store, he makes it a thing to make sure that I have to shovel my store instead of just shoveling it when he comes and does his apartment. So shouts to him. Other than that, as you can see, I got a shovel and I got some gloves and I got to get to work. So judging from how the roads look, how everything looks right now, I might be closed. In all honesty, in like three hours, it's probably going to be fine out here. But the other thing is, the amount of people that are going to tread snow and salt into the store, A. B, yesterday it was super, super slow. And it wasn't even snow on the ground. So, just some things to think about. Either way, everyone could always use a day off. And a day off for us isn't really always a day off because we always have work to do. So, either way, we're going to shovel this stuff. Let's get the before real quick. So we can get the after in about 15 minutes. All right, as you guys can see, not the best job in the world, but you know, we're getting it done. We're gonna salt the stairs and all that. All right, we salted everything down. So, you know, it's good enough. Not the best, but it's good enough. Again, it's pretty annoying that my landlord shovels his whole apartment, but can't shovel over here. So I'm not shoveling that. He gotta shovel that. Either way, no one's gonna die walking in, whatever. We're good. So you can walk in, I don't know if there's gonna be walking in. As you can see, we finished this bag of salt. The streets are looking crazy. My fives are looking crazy, but that's expected. And just look at the roads, man. It is not nice out here. Sidewalks are not plowed. The streets aren't looking terrible, but you know, it's a shoe store. So who's gonna who's gonna wanna come buy shoes in this kind of weather? I mean if they weren't coming yesterday to buy shoes, I don't I don't I don't see it happening today. So it might be time for a day off. Maybe we can get some content done. We can definitely get some listings done while I'm at it. But topshelfkick.com right now has over 3,500 items new used clothing sneakers whatever it is we might have it on there so shout out to everyone who's been supporting we've been getting a crazy amount of orders every day so i'm very appreciative of everyone ordering every day it's just crazy to think that uh you know i used to want to sell one shoe every couple of days now we sell a lot of shoes every day so it's great to see yeah man it's this is what we got to deal with so i don't know since i'm right here i might as well check out the old spot by judging by that painting down there, it looks like this is gonna be some type of cosmetics place. As you can see, it was totally redone. If you guys remember, obviously, uh, that was a full wall. Now it's a nicer stairwell, it goes downstairs. The downstairs is nice, like the upstairs. They definitely did a good job in this location. As you can see, it's not even shoveled. But man, this is where it all started, 27. So every time I walk by, I like to, you know, take a look, so. Shout out to whoever rented this out. It's nice to see someone rent it out because no one was going to rent it out. So it was going to be closed today, but then I decided to give it a couple hours. Let the streets get salted and all that. Even though the park over here is still not even paved. Paved. Plowed. Which is annoying for me because that's usually the way I walk. And it's not even loud. That's how I got to do it today. It's early right now. I decided to be open at 2. It's only like 12, but I figured I'd go in a little early. As you can see, Fire Red 5 is the boot of choice today.
Wow. <sighs> UPS came already? That dude doesn't sleep. Oh, Jordan. Jordan's actually in Jamaica. So, Jordan, perfect timing on that trip, bro. Because it is not the nicest here today. So, we got a lot of orders to get to. Um, I'm going to go get to those. I got a couple hours beforehand. So, um, I'm going to try to get to some listings. All right, guys. I'm in here. It's about 12. We opened at 2 today because of the snow. I'm in here. It's about 12. We opened at 2 today because of the snow. Um... Yeah, man, we got a lot of work to do today. We have a lot of listings up. Thankfully, we have a lot of sales. So we have a lot of drafts that we got to get to one of those days. But as much as I want to take a snow day, I feel like just being in this environment makes me work a lot more as much as I like to say, oh, I'm going to stay home and I'm going to, uh, you know, do all these drafts. I'm going to get done with this content, etc. I know that now if I'm in this environment, I'll make sure to get that stuff done instead of like staying at home and doing other stuff. Um, other than that, I was doing a Christmas Eve video, which was basically just GoPro footage of people walking in the store um, and all that. And I kind of just slept on it. I was like, guys, we don't really have an enough content for it. And then, you know, as I looked at it, I'm like, you know what? We can drop this. Uh, it is Christmas Eve. And I think people out there would want to see what's going on at Top Shelf Kicks on Christmas Eve. So I'm going to work on that today. Hopefully drop it uh, today or tomorrow or Sunday. And then we have another episode of top shelf TV on deck for Tuesday or so. Now we're probably going to look at, uh, what sold. Um, let's check that out right now. Gary's in the building safe. Yo. Uggs it's on. Cold, yeah. It is cold, and it's, it's snowy but you know, so we got to get how many orders? 19, 19 orders. A lot of good orders. That was all overnight too. Yeah. Oh, the both lucky things sold in one day. I thought that was... Oh, yeah, the Lucky Green sold yesterday. Wait. Maybe, uh, Lucky Green 7.5? Yeah, like last night. So we got Lucky Green, some Air Forces, some Maroons, some Puss Heads. Shouts to this guy for purchasing the jersey. Both of these jerseys, he says he watches this on YouTube. Really appreciate that. Another pair of Lucky Green sold. Hemp sold. Air Max 90s. Off-White 5s. A lot of good stuff, man. For sure. So we're going to find all this stuff, and then we're going to take a look at it. All right, so we're here. We already bought some stuff, which is quite crazy if you ask me personally, because what time is it? All right, it's like 2.20, so whatever. So first up, we got the AMA ones. Um, I guess I'll take them out of the box for you guys real quick. I feel like I've talked about this sneaker before, so I won't go too crazy with it, but you know, something different. This is my favorite part right here, the box. Next up, we got some used denim threes, which actually, Kind of raised up in price a bit, especially brand new. They're hard to find. Honestly, any Jordan 3 that's close to a white cement classic colorway, I feel like will always hold value and accumulate value in time. Here we got a black OVO 8. This pair is used. I'm a big fan of the Jordan 8, but honestly, I'm you know, I'm not I don't go too crazy personally for the OVO collabs. This one is pretty rare. It is lightly used, so we're going to throw these up on the eBay store hopefully today. Next up, we got a pair that I don't really like, the gold hoops sixes. But honestly, without the hoops, this is like a clean color. I was just thinking that. This is, these are like clean. This is, this is something you would wear. Yeah, these are like really clean, subtle gold hit on the back. Yeah, I'm not, I don't think these are bad without the hoops. You got to take the hoops off, though. Speaking of not bad or I don't know Speaking of different stuff Whoa Are we the foot? Yeah, we got some cool stuff Speaking of different stuff here. We got the watch the throne LeBron 9. This is the first pair I've seen in hand and You know what do I have to say about these? It's a LeBron 9 So, you know if you want to jump back in time 10 years and act like you're the man wearing these I feel you This pair was super rare you know, if you guys know about the sample game, I'd assume the sample of this pair, which I think it was a promo sample of some sort, you know, probably went for thousands or at least 500 plus. I'm not really sure how much, but, you know, now it's just a GR. They're actually holding some value. This pair, um, I think we're going to put up for like 275-ish, something like that. As you can see, Berwin is starting to get all the orders ready. And as you can see, the snow boots have been... Coming in handy today. Went with the Jordan 5s. Yeah, 
those are snow boots? These are my snow boots, man. I, I, I decided these are going to be this year's snow boots. I feel like every year I wear a sneaker out in the, in the snow. I mean, I have boots somewhere. I just can never find them until, like, I don't know, probably February. If it gets, like, really hectic, you know? Oh. Then you might have to bring out the Yutta boots. <laughs> if it gets crazy hectic, bring the Yuttas out. Oh yeah, baby. Oh my god. <laughs> Cheapest pair you can find, use. Okay. Alright, so let's do four-way action, four crawl. Big barks. Carmines. Okay, cool. Yeah. You want one? You can have one. Damn, bro, I'm getting out water for free today. <laughs> All right, this is what we got today. We got four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 orders that we found. There are a couple that we're still looking for. Hopefully we find them. Uh, let's just, you know, dive into it real quick. Best shoe here. I mean, guess all five fives. The hemp dunks are super rare. These are super rare as well. OVO 10s, you know, they had their time, came and went. I'm not really a fan of this New Balance style. I don't know what which one that is, but those aren't really me. I feel like I was just talking about Indians jerseys yesterday, and an Indian jersey sold when I was talking. Yeah, that was like so crazy to see. Um, shouts to um, the dude who picked that up. He said he watches the YouTube, so we really appreciate it. So we're gonna throw in some stickers and tubbo towels and all that. Other than that, man, today's probably gonna be a slow day, which is cool. Hopefully we'll get some work done. If not, it is what it is. We'll be here. All right, so we found what we could find. There's still a couple of things we have to find, but as you can see, we added the maroon sixes. So we're gonna pack up all this stuff and get it ready to go. All right, we got our pickup outside waiting for us. That doesn't mean we can't still film a little bit. This crazy Mitchell and Ness old warm up. Had this up for a while, finally sold. So we're gonna get all this stuff packed up and shipped out ASAP. Yeah, okay, cool. So this is everything? Alright, cool. All right. <laughs> he wanted to just chill all day, huh? <laughs> Thank you for waiting. No, guys, no problem. I appreciate Get it. Some more Broncos stuff in there, man. I know they suck, but come on. What were you looking for? Broncos are red. Oh yeah. <laughs> See you man. Thank you. Is that everything? I think we have one more. I think we have one more. Sorry, give me one sec. The maroons, you said? Yeah. OVOs, no? Thank you for letting me use the phone. Oh, you need it? Yeah, take it, man. That's not how it is. Oh, my God. Long day? It kills me to see all this stuff because I had so much stuff and then my mother just threw everything out. Yeah. I figured out how it really goes. I would die to know the value of my old wrestling figures, my old GI Joes. I would die. Yeah. I would die because you look at some of the prices now, they're thousands of dollars. Like, yeah. Guys, That's have it. a good one. Thank right? you so much. Bye -bye. Be safe. So I'm not going to lie to you guys. I don't think I've ever had that someone pull up for a pickup and like wait for us that was nice man cool dude man i mean who wants to drive around the snow anyway right you can sit in front so i gave him the pen right yeah. he's like yeah i kind of i'm like all right bro you can have it man <laughs> have a couple more things for ups and that's it oh so, i'm um, obviously moving way too fast today um when the ups i mean when the usps delivery person came for a pickup and said they wait outside we rushed we forgot to uh give stickers out to jeremy in ohio so jeremy i'm gonna send a separate package to you with stickers a couple wipes all that stuff um you know i just when people directly mention hey i really appreciate like the channel or hey can you throw in some stickers tsk all day whatever it is that means a lot to me so i'm mad that i fumbled the bag on this one forgot the stickers but you know day in the life four dollar shipping label to ship out some stickers and make it right to me uh means the world so shouts to jeremy again for the business we appreciate it and uh, let's see what else happens today so this is the weirdest thing first off i just found this bacon that we couldn't find the dude i don't know if you guys are going to see this in the footage but the post office guy was like yo get more denver broncos stuff in i know we suck but get some more stuff in and then just like that boom fifty dollars 
for a Peyton Manning jersey. So shouts to Brian on this purchase. We're gonna find this jersey and get it shipped out. All right, so we said what, 50 for the shirt, right? Okay, so we can do 40, um, 40 or 55, two chances from right there. Two chances from right here. Seems easy, right? I know you used to do that one. Yeah, we to, haven't done that one in a while. Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll go for it. Uh, uh, shoes. Okay, okay, two chances. Oh! oh close, close. Um, 55, right? Yeah, that's fine, bro. Uh, card? Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, cool, he got you. Uh, do you need a back for it? Uh, yeah, please. Oh, cool, this shit's fire. How you doing, guys? on my way to the bodega or the store around the corner uh, decided to pick it up just because there's nothing really going on at the store i hope you guys can hear me but uh you guys will see what i get i don't know what else to say <laughs> it just snowed yesterday shit's crazy but i guess i'll see you inside the store How you doing? Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you. So that was very successful. We acquired what we needed to acquire. I got an Arizona. Two bags of chips. Some light, you know. I forgot to eat lunch today, so got something to hold me out until we get out, so. I don't know, bro. What do you, what do you think? I love you want to include it. Yeah. No, I, I hear you, so. I mean, that's what we signed up for. Yeah. No, you are, you are correct. You got the door. How you guys doing? Hi, how are you? How you doing? Guys, looking for anything in particular? Oh, uh, nothing too in particular. Mm -hmm. Look. Okay, cool. If you have any questions, let us know. Most of the stuff on the walls is used, but we have a bunch of stuff in the back depending on size. So if you're like, where's the new? Any new? Yeah, like we have a bunch of stuff new depending on the size, what you're looking for. Uh, so if you have like a price range or um, size, style, for like Jordan or Yeezy, you know, something like that. Like, you know. okay. Uh, no, what size are you looking for, bro? Uh, probably 10, 10 and a half. I'm not sure since they run a little weird. Okay, cool. Is that one, um, what size is that green one? If you want to show Okay, cool. So let me see. Bro, I'd probably like be looking for like a darker colorway, like onyx or something. Uh, we might have the pyrite. Have you seen what those look look like? I think I've seen pyrite, but let me let me better check. You, you want to look it up, or you want me to show you? I could look it up. All right, cool. And then either way, I mean, we can grab them for you just so you could try it on, just so you like know how they feel. Uh, yeah, that'd be regardless. Pyro, it's like kind of like a darkish gray, I think. Yeah, it's like kind of grayish, but I might have to see it in real life because it looks alright. Alright, cool. Um, you said you're a 10 and a half? 
Yeah, they yeah. kind of run like smaller. They do usually, yeah, but that's a different model than the usual 350. And uh, feel free, you can sit on that red chair if you'd like. Okay, let's try them. Let's see what the color this is technically called. Stone Salt. Oh, Stone Salt, yeah, I did. Yeah. I kind of like it. Yeah, they're kind of nice in person compared to the other colors. Um, do other. You walk a little bit? Uh, yeah, sure. Now we can be a mirror. Every day. Oh really? Yeah, I mean, honestly, some like you know how it is. Sometimes we do mine because yeah, obviously we want to keep them brand new for you. Me, I don't but yeah. Um, other than that, I think we have this colorway too in ten and a half. How's that fit, Nick? But I feel like you want to color like that. It doesn't really slip out either. That's a cool one. Yeah, like yeah that. that actually looks a lot better than the other one, personally. Yeah, but, per uh, yeah personally. <laughs> and I think this size would be a little. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get it. I'm you want to try on the other one as well? Yeah, I mean, I well, I mean the other the other foot. Oh, the other yeah, because usually the foot, you know, you can see, exactly. Yeah. These are uh, I believe those are two. So you moved from the other store in the. Yeah, yeah. You, you moved up. It's bigger, I guess, right? Yeah, it was a little bigger, and that was you know a very small spot. There's not nowhere to park there. Either. That was a problem. Well, you know, we had this parking lot for years, and then they took it down, and now they, I don't know what they're doing. With well, it. I pulled over there. You're there. okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they usually thankfully don't give us. No, no, no. Put on the other shoe. What? The other, the other color. We want you to put on. No, the other. no, no, no. I was saying that. Oh, just, oh. Yeah, both feet, just to see. Sometimes oh. one foot's bigger Let than the, the other. Process, huh? <laughs> All right, sorry. He knows about. But this. uh, yeah, we we have the smaller location over there. Um. There was that bad flood, I don't know if you remember, but that place got flooded pretty bad. Too. Oh, it did? So, yeah. Thankfully, oh, that was a couple of years ago? Yeah. Well, you know, September 1st, that bad storm, I was, he's at oh, Rutgers. I, I lost my car on 287, oh, man. Nah, the street know? was crazy. The, the water was up to the Wait, door. I, I never... Yeah. What about to it? Yeah. That's what I was. Oh, awesome, man. Yeah, that's crazy. Where are you doing? I'm at Hardenburg. Oh, really? I'm actually at uh, Camp Cole. I'm like right next door. Wow, that's, that's awesome. Weird. Wow. Hey, small world snow day. Yeah. Those are cool, Nick. Now, those I like. These lights always trip me up. Is there a way to get this like a little so, tighter? So, or? I think you can. Um, oh, does it come with them? Yeah. Awesome. I think you can, cut, gonna... you can cut those, and then these are just laces. Like, yeah, they're getting like, cut. Yeah. Sure. What's getting cut? The, uh, these laces that it starts with, like, uh, they're together like this, so it's like it doesn't really tighten. Then what do you do with them? Oh, you put, yeah, you, you can lay it back in whatever way you, you want. You can relace yeah. it with regular laces. Now which, that's a good looking shoe, sure, which I think He's might got be that other one. Which one do you have that I don't like? That they look like uh, Crocs or whatever. Oh, the foam runners. Yeah, you like them? I, I can't lie, those are very popular. I know. And the, and the, and the price on them has been going. Yeah, so how much are these? Uh, two sixty. Oh yeah, definitely. I'll get them. All right, cool. the price is right. Price, right, Nick? What? No, that's that's good. That's a good price. Huh? Yeah. I mean, from what I see, they'd probably be like three hundred at the mall know. or something. Yeah. Like that, yeah. We try to keep it pretty. Um, have you ever been to that old store? You just used to drive. No, no. Yeah. You know, it's funny. I we I always saw. What, what was your saying? Uh, oh, uh, the, the, what did it say on the door? Something about sneakers. Top shelf kicks. Yeah, no, but it was like something you're... you're, what you're Buy, saying. sell, trade. No, but it was like what, how you explain the sneakers, like uh, high-end sneaker, whatever it was. I never... We were always like... Oh, 100% authentic, maybe? Yeah, whatever it was. And I said, I don't know. I should go in there. And then Nick said, there's a store... You know, he, now he's into this, so he, call, he owns all the stores. He says, there's a store in Quo. I go... I think I I thought you went out of business. I'm like I don't know. It was yeah, it you was, would think a place. It was over there, and I'm like, yeah. so then he goes, no, they moved. I'm like, all right, so let's check it out. See, he lives in Mawa. I'm in Roseland, so okay, I'm right perfect. here. Yeah. Oh, awesome. I can back him up. Did you call? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. you sell? No, yeah, it was yeah, yeah, your yeah, name. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I called. Because we when Nick said we went on your website, it's it's eBay or something. Yeah. Like so, I'm like yeah, you know, I guess you know people. You know, this is a buy sell. You buy, you know, whatever. So I just said, let me call and see if they have new. Because Nick will buy the used, but out of me, I'm like, of course. No, whatever. Hey, if the news is available, especially price right. Yeah. Why not? Um, how do you want to take cash cards? Yeah, you take credit cards? Oh, we do. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. 
Oh, okay. Well, forty. All right. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I appreciate Thank you for stopping by. Thank Have you, a good bro. weekend, How's How's going, man. All right. See you, bro, man. For See sure, bro. Peace, bro. Guys. Have a good one. Small world. It's crazy. Small world. So that was what you because you know I forget Salt that we thing. have them in here. Salt. So that was a 380 size 10. Man, that was a same stone if salt. We, if we move the same market, market, yeah, yeah, that would have been weird. All right, next up going out, we got this Rick Rubin Supreme shirt. Shouts to Gilbert in New York. He purchased this. He also uh, purchased a pair of New Balances from us a couple weeks ago. So we definitely appreciate uh, the second order. We put this on the story. And he was not pump faking. He definitely grabbed them real quick. Other than that, man, it's definitely pretty slow in here. Obviously, as you guys can see, everyone's probably staying home as they should. You know, so what else is going on? Not much, but we're going to pack up this shirt and see what else is up. <clears throat> Thank you. Appreciate it, Anytime, guys. Anytime, man. No problem. Yeah, man. Have, have a good weekend. Thank you. Um. Maybe. Gary, you were at how much? I would say two twenty. I would say before the Pumas. Yeah, I had 100. That's what I was at, but he's a good customer, so we weren't too far off. All right, as you guys can see, we just bought some stuff. Air Max Pluses. I don't have any idea what Nike this is. This is a nice hat. It is lightly used though. Some shorts, Randall Cunningham jersey, go birds. Some of these got traded in. These are patas. Yeah, I know. That's why what? I was. I was like, all I right. I didn't even know they had a collab. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I think they called it <laughs> Amsterdam's or something. YouTube. Slow day today, guys, huh? Mm -hmm. So, like I said, we probably could have been closed today for a little bit of a snow day, but you know, we sold 380. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and the Supreme stuff. Some Supreme stuff. We bought some stuff. Whatever. It was cool. Um, just found out that Gary and Berwin don't know who Uncle Murder is. So obviously they didn't hear his uh, 2021 wrap up, which makes sense. I didn't hear it either. What else? Not much. Anyways, I need to shout out Landon from Texas. Shout out to Landon. He hit me up and saw these on the story. And uh, he was the first person to hit me up who saw these on the story. And uh, didn't ask for a cheaper price. Everyone who saw them wanted like forty dollars off of our price, and I thought our price was pretty fair because it was like kind of like what they're going for. So shouts to Landon. We're gonna get these uh, sent out with some stickers, some wipes, and all that. We appreciate the support from Texas. Where's the ball at, man? Cause I'm ready to go home. It's my feet are cold. I've been yeah, walking. In the, we have the heat on. It's just like. I've been walking in these Jordan 5s all morning. And I forgot that Berwin did the last shot in the new video. Oh, we're also probably going to drop a video tonight. So I hope you guys like it because I wasn't even going to drop this video. But I don't know. I thought it was uh, decent content. So till next time. Oh, I don't even know if it has the hoop on it. Till next time.